The main thing I want to highlight in this video is the breathing pattern. I won't go too much into the, the form of the actual deadlift, but I want to talk about just how to breathe as you're going through these because these are typically going to be found in a high rep set. So what I would recommend doing is either taking a breath in at the top or taking a quick breath on the way down, allowing your whole abdominal cavity to fill up with air and use that for a little bit of passive stability before moving into the next rep. Because in that dead stop deadlift, we're usually taking that breath in at the bottom, bracing and then coming down. So here we'd either take a breath in at the top or we kind of take a quick breath in on the way down, depending on the amount of weight that you're moving and how many reps that you're doing. Another big thing is just making sure that you're not sitting back with the weight. I see a lot of people do that, especially with the dead stop deadlift. So it's still allowing yourself to kind of fold over the top, much like you would in a Romanian deadlift, and then bending the knees the rest of the way. The last point is just on the bounce. It's a touch and go deadlift, not a bounce and go deadlift. So you're not trying to throw the weight into the ground and, and get as much of a rebound as you can off the ground as possible. You're just simply tapping the ground, still really pushing with the legs to initiate that movement back up, but not allowing a huge bounce to take place and just let momentum take over.